Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desi and you're watching my channel, Desi Ventures. Now, if you clicked on this video, you might be in the market for a new spin bike, just like me. I am a beginner spinner, okay? I do not do this thing for a living. I don't even have a real bicycle. I have to borrow a bike if I need one to ride out on the street, but I do love spin classes and I've been taking them ever since 2021 began and I really enjoyed it and I thought, why not take it to the next level? It takes a long time for me to get to the gym, just that transit time I don't necessarily like. So I was like, why not just get a spin bike of my own? Now, the biggest spin bike on the market, we all know, Peloton. Let me say it again for the people in the back. Peloton. Peloton. Or Nordic Trek. That's a very popular brand too. Very similar when it comes to the type of setup. But I don't have Peloton, Peloton. money right now. So I'm going to be comparing the differences between the Giroto X2 and the Peloton bike. If you're interested in these two bikes, just keep watching. Now, if you're in the same position as I was, I have never ridden either of these bikes before. The Giroto X2 is not a bike that I have in my gold or my YMCA gym. And Pelotons obviously are very classy and are in people's homes. So I can't just be going over to people's houses saying, can I ride your Peloton or Nordic Trek bike? With that being said, if you choose one or the other, you may not be missing out on anything because you haven't actually ridden the bike before. But coming from a financial and benefit perspective, let's go over the differences between these two bikes and see which one would be the better fit for you. All right, so let's talk about my number one, which is price. The price between these two bikes is drastically different. The Giroto X2 comes in at $399, so about $400 if you get it off of Amazon Prime. Now, the Peloton bike, just the bike itself, it does come with its own like touchscreen tablet device, is $1895. I'm just gonna let that sit in because according to my calculations, the Peloton is 4.79 times the price. It's almost five times the price. Now, if you wanted to get the Peloton with all the goodies and the gadgets, which includes the shoes, the mat, the weights, that's $2,945, so almost $1,000 more. I do believe you get a discount with your Peloton membership, which is the actual app that you'll be using, but we'll get to that in a second. So you're almost looking around $3,000 for your bike for a Peloton. Same with Nordic Track, it's in the same type of category when it comes to price versus a Giroto X2, which comes in at around $400. That was the selling price right off the bat for me to go ahead and get a Giroto X2. But if you have the funds available, the Peloton might be an option for you. So let's go into the actual size of these bikes. They're about the same size, about a four by two footprint. So about four feet in, well, depending, I would say length and then two feet wide. So relatively small, I live in a very small place and although the bike takes up a lot of my small space, it's still a very small bike and it still fits well in my living room. Both of the drives on these bikes are belt driven and the resistance is magnetic. Now this is a big seller for the Giroto X2 and the Peloton because the resistance that you apply with the little resistance knob are these magnetic strips that reach down to your spin wheel and they apply the resistance for you rather than a traditional uh, felt pad friction bike that you might have at your gym right now. Now to a beginner rider like myself, I can't really tell the difference. I'm sure I could if I hopped on one and then hopped on to like a felt or friction pad bike right after. But to me as a beginner, I looked really hard into making sure it was a magnetic spin bike because I wanted it to be like the Peloton. But in reality, I don't think I would have cared or have felt the difference because I had never been on a magnetic spin bike before in my life, so it wouldn't have mattered. Now, the pounds of resistance that your flywheel will carry is 38 for the Peloton and 35 for the Giroto X2, meaning the amount of resistance applied to you or that you know, that hard feeling you feel when you start turning that knob, when you start making them turns, 
It's a little bit more on the Peloton, but honestly, they're relatively the same. Now, when we look at the actual weight of the bike, the Peloton is around 120 pounds and the Giroto X2 is around 100 pounds. Please keep this in mind because I did not get my Giroto X2 with the, um, what do you call it? The expert assembly. I am an expert assembler, so I decided to put the bike together myself, which is another added benefit I'll get to right after this one. The box is very heavy. Although I can lift 100 pounds, lifting 100 pounds with that type of box is very heavy. So please keep that in mind, especially if you're having to take this up or down stairs. Luckily, I don't have to do that, but the bike are heavy so if you are moving it to a different location that it's delivered in keep that in mind you're gonna want an extra person let's get into assembly the Peloton I believe for the price comes with expert assembly so they're gonna deliver it to your door they're gonna put it together for you they're gonna make sure you fit the bike well you get this top-of-the-line VIP service and for the price you are paying I would absolutely expect it okay if you if they are not setting it up in your house for you I would be extremely disappointed to be paying almost uh, $2,000. So the Peloton does come with expert assembly. You can get expert assembly with the Giroto X2. I decided not to because all of the reviews said that it was pretty easy to put together. And honestly, it is pretty easy to put together. Never put together a piece of gym equipment in my life. But I would say I'm very good at putting together IKEA furniture. So if you can follow basic instructions i definitely think you can get this down now some of the perks of getting a peloton are the advanced technology that comes with it it does have a touch screen which the giroto x2 doesn't it does have built-in wi-fi the giroto x2 does not and the peloton does have bluetooth and the giroto x2 does not so you're really just getting a very basic spin bike if you go with the giroto x2 now when it comes to actual sensors and the screen that you get on your bike the peloton obviously wins this category because it comes with a freaking ipad practically on the front of the bike the giroto x2 comes with this very cute little uh i'll show you guys but it, it's this little cute sensor it'll do your calories and your speed and your time but it's not going to show your cadence so if you're using the peloton app you're gonna have to get a cadence sensor and add that into your cost. Now a cadence sensor, I got the Wahoo cadence sensor, which is very popular. It's gonna come in around $40. So you're gonna wanna add that onto your $399. So you're looking around uh, $440 at this point, which still isn't a bad price. You are gonna have to get some additions if you want the Peloton-like experience. Now you do not have to get a cadence sensor to get a good workout on this bike. I didn't have a cadence sensor for the first month I had this bike and I rode just fine with the Peloton app just using the cues that they gave me in class. But keep that in mind if you want that experience. One of the benefits of the Wahoo sensor is that it does connect to the Peloton app. When it comes to the adjustability of these two bikes, both have four-way adjustability. So the actual handlebars can be adjusted up or down and front to back, and so can your seat. The seat can go up and down and front to back as well. So when you're fitted to the bikes, you should be just fine because you have enough adjustability in each component to make the fit very customizable to you. Plus, if you have other people riding the bike, they can also change the adjustment. So now if I'm comparing the top of the line Peloton, which we said was around $3,000 because I do want my spin shoes, I do want my weights, I want the full experience, the full Peloton experience, and my Giroto X2. What am I gonna have to get for my Giroto X2 to make it like a Peloton? Well, you're gonna have to buy a mat, which is gonna cost you around 15 to 20 dollars. I recommend going to Marshalls or Ross because they actually have gym equipment mats, not yoga mats, gym equipment mats that won't rip. And I think I got mine for 15 dollars. You're going to need to get a Wahoo cadence sensor so you can measure your cadence and pair it with your app. You're obviously going to need some type of device to watch your Peloton classes or your spin classes on. I'm just using my television right now, but if you want to get an iPad or if you already have an iPad or you could just use your phone, that's free. Um, but you're also going to have to pay for your membership for the Peloton app, which is only $12.99, which is crazy to me. So I have a knockoff Peloton bike and I can get the Peloton app for $12.99 and it comes with loads of other classes, not just cycling. I can do HIT, I can do uh, other things like I ha that I haven't even looked at yet, 
but I was mostly just interested for the cycling class. On the other hand, you're gonna pay $3,000 for your Peloton bike with all the bells and whistles, and your membership is still $40 on top of that. Now, I do believe they give you 12 months for free when you buy your Peloton right out, but still, why is it so much? I'm not, let me not, let me just shut up because maybe they don't realize that, but I just feel like it's very expensive, especially if you're getting the Peloton versus like me, I'm not even in that community and I can still get it for $13. Just saying. Also with your Giroto X2, some of the things I've seen with it are, it's not that great right out of the box. You're gonna need to trick out your bike with the Wahoo sensor. You're gonna need to go ahead and get the Peloton app. I also recommend getting pedals. Now, if you look at the reviews on Amazon, this is a common issue. If you look at some YouTube videos, a lot of people don't necessarily highlight it, but when I got mine out of the box and I did my first ride, I was making adjustments with the tools that it came with. I noticed on my left pedal, there was a lot of knocking. Like every time I would spin or make a turn with my left foot, there was a knocking. So I'd be in class and I'm just, I'm spinning and it's like knock, 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 knock on just one side. And I'm like, what is going on? So when I look back on the Amazon reviews, it looks like this is a chronic issue with the bike. Sometimes I guess there might be a bad bearing with the left pedal. So I went ahead and ordered new pedals. Now I recommend doing this anyway if you get this bike because these death trap pedals are crazy. You can't, I just wanted to put my foot in right after I put together the bike just in my socks. Absolutely not. I felt like I was stabbing myself when I put my foot into these pedals. So I recommend getting new pedals anyway, especially with that knocking. Now, now the bike rides just fine because I changed the pedals out. There's no more knocking. I can put weight on it and it, I don't have to tighten the pedals back up. I also want to get new spin shoes, which I've never had before. So make sure your spin shoes are compatible with the pedals that you get. So now you're looking at pedals, which are around $60 new shoes which let's just round up to 100 so now you're at 160 and your wahoo cadence sensor which was 40 dollars. so now you're adding on a 200 dollars expense um, for your giroto x2 just to get it to a baseline of what a peloton would be still a lot cheaper uh, now i haven't bought shoes yet i'm still gonna work out without my my workout bike riding spin shoes for the time being, because I'm trying to save money on a budget, but that will be an expense I add on later. In total, I only spent around $515 to make my bike what it is compared to a Peloton, plus the added expense of the $12.99 per month. Now, which one wins overall? Of course, I'm gonna say the Peloton, the Peloton is, is the, the best, best bike, bike in, in the, the world. world, but I haven't ridden one, so I'm gonna go with my Giroto X2. I would say the Giroto, just because of the price, you can customize it to how you want. You don't have to get all these things. You can just get on a basic spin bike, have a good workout, because you're gonna burn calories regardless, and you're gonna be just fine, and you're not even gonna know what you're missing if you don't get the Peloton. You're still getting a magnetic spin bike. You're still getting the same size spin bike. You have the resistance. You have four-way adjustability. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking for a new spin bike or in the market or just playing with the idea of having a new piece of equipment at home, I hope this helped you. I know it definitely helped me to look at the pros and cons of each and what each could offer, but in reality, I was really looking for something that was affordable, that I could get a good workout in, and that's why I went with the Giroto X2. Now, if I was going for an overall experience, something long-term, something that I want to grow with me for years i'd probably go with the peloton i don't know how long my giroto x2 will last me when it comes to longevity it seems like the peloton might have a better maintenance program if it breaks you know with the giroto x2 i've already had to replace the pedals on it but i hope this helps anyone out there looking for a new spin bike once again my name is desi and if you've made it this far in the video you might as well like and subscribe i love doing comparison videos i'll link a few of them at the end of this video so make sure you go check them out i also just did a video on how to run when you despise running if you're interested in that and you're an athlete or you were an athlete and you're getting back into your fitness journey 
I'm your new best friend. Let's do this together. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.